両コースのトータルステップ1。
is running cat and dogs. Then we don't mean the puppies and kittens are really uh, falling for this kind. So that little one is running head in a previous stage of this. So, so why do we use like that like way? That is more interesting. Yes, more interesting. Then figure speech can amplify what they were trying to communicate. So not only a single way to say the figure of speech might amplify this very big story. Then the people were paying more attention to what they were saying. Yes, very very attention. Then the more likely to remember it, therefore they will wait till our fault. Okay? Wait till our fault. Be true. This is rhetorical stress. The way we use the words, the point is clear, interesting, and memorable. It's very good for the uses in this town. This is rhetorical force. Then, but it's important to be able to recognize the difference between figurative and literal lines. Otherwise, they might think the cat and dog literally find their from this kind. Now that's the another way of saying it. Okay, let's go into the next page. Uh, from this page, um, we might the more focus on the every type of the figure to line the figure of speech. Then uh, the first one, number one. Number one. Number one is personification. Number one is the personification. Personification is a figure of speech that pretends that something is not human but it's like a human. So, as if it were a human, it is the personification. Then, here's an example. This sky is weeping. Yeah, sky is weeping. Sky doesn't cry. Never. But sky is weeping is like this picture you see. Then, like a crying over. Then it's raining. Come down. That's kind of like kind of dog. Then another example here is uh, when the sun came up, the world is left to your faces. No face, that is a flower that look like a face, then we use the face to the flower. Then it's a dramatic personification. Then next one is the uh, is very broad. Broad and gorgeous. That is because it's his handle. This is number one, the personification. Then, next one, number two. Illusion. Illusion is when I refer to something without mentioning it directly. Not mention. So, mm, refer to not, not mention. Refer to but not mention. That is your illusion. Illusion. Then, um, we use illusion when we want to remind someone of something, but not mention it directly. If you mention it directly, it is very heavy story, very is very hurtful, that's in, uh, very hard to uh, say. On um, a very bad story or some, something very uh, uh, difficult to express. Then allusions don't like when the reader doesn't get what you were going, going about. 
So, in general, we make allusions to things that a reader knows about truth. The nothing story that a reader knows the stories that many people know. So, uh, when you want something to many people, that will be uh, something uh, famous to be referred to. But even on a person to person, only you two understand what it is going. That is the revolution. Yes. Then, uh, in this origin, there are two types. So, two, one, there's a biblical allusion. And two, there's a literary allusion. Here. The first one is the biblical origin, the biblical of good that is from, derived from Bible. This Bible is the uh, separate um, book and we often use and refer it to. And most of us know the most of the Bible what it says. Then Bible allusions are uh, allusions that refer to stories that originally from the Bible, the Bible story. And this is an example I'm going to write stand. I'm going to the It's very often called, uh, you can see the time scan. And you know about this very famous for this, uh, the uh, notorious, uh, the, 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 uh, the old questions where really, they uh, executed by very uh, ugly reasons. And some of my settlers on the one, uh, they went into the meeting. They don't really matter as many will be full of lions, no, no, no lions. They are little thing that they're going to a tough situation, very difficult situation. Then the from the Bible, the story to the Daniel who is put into the den of lions by an angry of the king. That's what the king of Nero. Yeah? Then there is another going to the lion's den. That's why. Okay. For example, what says in the lion's den? Mm. Um, if you have the exam measure at the school, without preparation and study, that is a one to one of them. Or, um, well, when you come to some very severe situation, that is also a one to one of them. Okay, number two, literally origin. Literally origin. Literatures are allusions that refer to the story of literature. So, many famous stories or novels the literature, including anime in Japan too, then they are literally allusions. Then, literary allusions are allusions that refer to the story of the literature. Then, examples, uh, he is unsuppressed. He is and schools. You know, Christ must tell that schools is a guy that is very uh, hate or to hate. So, then that one two is of saying the person is a name of schools, not only. And if you without he is school, which that is his name. He is out of school, which is his like a school. Yes, school is the name that I've heard of all this old. Then, why does the property sign the person doesn't like to spend money? Because spend money. 
if I make a rich real religion. So, Chang Kaken, a uh, famous story, uh, Christmas Carol, of course, everyone knows this. And this Christmas Carol, the character named Scrooge, what's his money? So that he has to spend anything anymore. So, um, for example, that is, well, for example, that is, um, Christmas Day, or in, uh, also not in Japan, if you're not offers them a very, very low amount, small amount, so you can say, oh, you are screwed. That is the kind of thing. You mustn't say that. Parents get angry. Okay? So that is, you are literally allergic. Okay, now let's go on to the next page, page on just on 100. 100. This is number three. Number three. Mythological allusion. Mythological allusion. Of course, that is from the mythology. The, uh, the Greek myth, or Japanese myth, or a lot of myths. The mythological origins are written down and referred to stories from mythology. Every country may have the mythology, then the Japanese Japan's myth, and Great Great's myth, then China also has, and every country has. Now, that is from the myth. Then the example is this. Um, while Jack is talented pioneer, her temp temper is her Achilles heel. Mm, very long. While Jack is a uh, talented pioneer. While Jack is a In this case, K is for a good superstar. Superstar. But, how quick temper? How quick temper? Is how accuracy.
understanding of the day. Of the day. Yeah? When you have a naughty girl, then I said you are really good girl, that is I want. That is the one you say. Then why would you do that? That makes the material more interesting and can actually emphasize what you really want to say. Okay. Then here is an example. If someone asks you if you'd like to go outside where it's raining, you might say. Yes. Of course I would. During raining, I like more than getting soaked down in, in the rain. So, the rain. Raining. So, don't. Don't go out. But in this case, uh, more, nothing more, nothing more than soft in the rain. Soft is the one the very bad things, um, except some, except, except, except for the present. Yeah, the bad things, but, oh, really happy to want nothing more than this, I'm soft in the way. That is the verbal irony. Really want to stay another way, just don't want to stay home. That is the verbal irony. When you use the verbal irony here, you aren't just saying, saying no. That explain why you want to go outside by constructing with the opposite idea, then your friends will went through shows and expenses what you really mean. So, the other way to say them, that is the really best, but all the opposite to say, then the mention of the intent, the opposite. Okay, now. Number five. Number five is pump. Different means. 
doing this sound while weathering a sound soul to soul. Yeah. So then such stories those in the pun to them for the difference between uh Mikito. Uh, who wants to dance in the cell way and when you free to your head part and then wants to go left and long so the soul. Then the poem to the lot about Mankato and when he order focuses on his physical feelings while the other focuses on his emotional emotional feelings. So on this emotion, you have to sip it all properly. So, without soul, I can't stand. So, uh, really, it's not have this soul. However, actually, one says, we don't have any soul for the dance. That's like right, the normal dance. That's the pants. Okay? Here is an explanation of this chapter uh, 10. Then, uh, we have an um, exercise problem. Page 104. Okay. Now, let's get into the phrases. So, number one. Does a palm make a difference to the boy calling story? Yes or no? Of course, no. Yes, nothing to do with the boy calling the Bible. Okay, question number two. If you want to say something that is literally true, literally true, would you use a figure of speech? Would you use a figure of speech? Yes or no? Yes, the answer is no. If it's true, that is the ritual, ritual. So, no ritual space. Number three. Which is number three? Why do you mythological allusions wait for a two? Why do you mythological allusions wait for a two? Number four. What type of figure of speech is following a sentence? Our old house groans and went during the hurricane. Our old house is groaned, the guy, or it went during the hurricane. Yes, yes. 
language we can understand its pronunciation. Then we have learned that how this works for the emphasize of what we will say and make it more interesting and easier way to understand and easier way to make an imagination much better than you have uh, do that in the little style that is literal. It's uh, just a thing, thing and the figure of speech might much more than that. Okay. Right, that is the all for this class today and the chapter 10. Thank you very much. We do the same thing. Yes.